I'm Kevin Frankish, and I have a confession to make. I'm a criminal. You probably are, too, if you've been a pedestrian in Toronto. We break a law dozens of times a day as we walk through this city, and it's actually contributing to gridlock. I'm going to show you here me breaking the law. Such an outlaw. Here I go. And all right. I'm breaking law, stepping off the curb onto the road. Rebellion. Yes, it's the flashing hand, not the countdown. It's the flashing hand. No pedestrian, according to the Highway Traffic Act, uh, approaching pedestrian control signals and facing a solid or flashing don't walk indication shall enter the roadway. That is the law. We have individuals that are still attempting to cross the roadway, even though they shouldn't be. So each one of those pedestrians can be charged with a $50 offense. But at the same time, we've got now two vehicles that are stuck at the intersection. Uh, only one was able to complete their turn. So who's really got the right to be on the roadway in this particular situation? Well, the reality is not the pedestrian. So if pedestrians obeyed the signals, would it help? Well, Constable Stibby and I tried it out. So these are all vehicles that could not go. Two, three. Look at how smooth. Now, could you imagine Freezing. If, if pedestrians on by. did this without being told? In that time, we had uh, six or seven vehicles come through. One of the big complaints from people is sometimes the flashing hand comes up almost immediately. What's your thought? What intersections are worse than others? Let us know at City News. Use the hashtag City Commute.